All right, Garrett, there's the truck right there, man. We got lucky. Oh, I see it. There it there is. We go. Let's, uh, all right, I'm going to get it. You block the road off. Keep an eye out. I thought I saw a curtain move in the upstairs window. So if a crazy guy comes out, well, we know who. Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to block the whole road, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm blocking the road here. So we aren't really cops, but hey, no one's going to pass me. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Just, Line yourself up. Just block the road. Keys in it. Anything unlocked. Otherwise, we'll have to throw the winch on it and get it up here. Uh Oh, the door is open, man. Okay, perfect. Usually truck owners, that's kind of what they do. All right, I'm going to pull forward. See if you can... Can you start it? Fire up. Oh, let's try this out. Here we go. Keys here, so... All right, there we go. Yep. First try. There we go. All right. I kind of... I put the front wheels on the curb. It seemed like... Yep, the ramp looks good, man. Go ahead, drive on this pretty heavy truck. A little to your left, yes, to your left, to your left. To All right, left. straight, straight. Yep, and back to your right. There you go. Back to okay. your right. Yep, straighten it out. All right. Oh, to your yep. right now. Okay, dude, this thing is All wide. Right. Holy, it's I don't know so if this is going to fit. Do you think I can drive it a little further? A little further. Don't want to hit anything, but yeah, just a little further. I'll strap you down, and she might, uh, she's, this is going to be close. Well, Garrett, it's strapped down. You think this is going to work? Uh, I don't know, man, but we're going to give it a try. Biscuits. We just, it's okay. We just have an extra set of tires on the ground. No That's worries. true. We're more stable. We can hold more load. Is anybody. I don't think anybody's home. We're getting lucky. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's head out of here before so before the owner comes out and gets mad. So what we're doing, guys, is we're repoing. Some people are asking, like, what is repoing? I don't get it. It's like every time you guys steal somebody's car. Now we aren't stealing somebody's car. The the owner wasn't able. They they took a loan out on it when they bought it or whatever through the bank, and they weren't able to pay the loan. So then. The bank says to me and Garrett, they're like, hey, we need you to go get our car back because they're the ones who technically own it if they can't pay the loan. So that's what we're doing now, getting that back for the bank. Then they sell it at like an auction or something and get as much money as they can back. But that's what we're doing, guys. Make sure if you buy something, make sure you you, you have the money you pay for it and, and, and pay the loan down. So Garrett, anybody following us? I think we're good. Uh, yeah, I think we are all clear. But man, my shift is ending here soon. So we got to get back. Oh, yeah. I was going to say that it took us a little longer. It was really hard to find. And we thought we actually weren't going to get this today. Am I going the right way, man? I don't even know. I, I think it can connect back. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We're going down a walking path. But yeah, let's get you back home here, Garrett. His shift is ending. Here we go, guys. We're pulling back in. The Rebo shop is on our right here. Garrett, did I lose you? I'm right yeah. behind you, man. I was kind of joking. Uh, we we're, were going so slow because I... I like this thing's so sketchy but yeah good thing it didn't fall off and garrett smoked it yeah I'm, I'm surprised we made it here in one piece we strapped her down good we threw like 50 ratchet straps on it <laughs> and we made sure it was in neutral so the wheels kind of spin kind of don't anyway let's get it unloaded here the keys you got the keys or are they still in it uh, i think i left them in it i don't have them in my pocket okay. so let's hope they're there and four, one strapper here. So you have one more, you have like a double shift, right? Yep, I got a double shift. I think I have two more calls lined up after this that Chow got me going on. If you guys didn't know too, this is Chow Repo. So we work for Chow. He's the owner of the business. He's not around too much anymore. We think he's, uh, he bought some private island. I, I, we don't know what he's doing, but uh, yeah, man, I got two more shifts. You're heading out though? Yes, I am. I'm just going to park this in the garage and then I'll be on my way. All right. That'd be perfect. Thanks for the help, man. This one went pretty good. Of course, man. Hope the other ones go well, too. I think we'll just put the truck inside as well. So we have a bunch of parking. We just started this rebuild shop. And so once we fill it up more and we might have different trucks, trailers, tow trucks, setups, and maybe we might we might rent some of this out back here. We have a lot of gravel parking spots that we could easily make some money on yeah we'll just pull this in for now there we go garrett already left and yeah so i'm gonna check the computer real quick see exactly where we're going get addresses get vin numbers on all the i think it's actually like a scooter moped motorcycle i don't know we'll look at it and so i i need to know the vin number so we don't accidentally take somebody's motorcycle and, and, and it's not it's not the one we're looking for so let's go inside the office here perfect this place is so nice so clean we haven't been using it too much and there we go got my two tickets so it looks like it's a moped actually it's uh her name is susan that owns it i guess and her address oh her address is on beverly boulevard Go ahead, open the gates. But Beverly Boulevard, it's where all the rich people, I guess, stay, where the really, really nice homes. I think the cheapest one I saw listed was like $2 million. So kind of weird that the address is to that. Don't know what that situation is, but maybe they're in some deep water and I don't know. We're getting this moped out. Well, this is where GPS took me to. Kind of weird. Didn't know this is how I get here, but I was actually looking on the computer and, and we're going to stake this out because it's, I think this is a private drive. So what we're gonna do you know what you know what 
yeah okay you can see up in there we're gonna pull off on the side here so this is like a mansion super super nice i think it was like five million dollars so they could have security cameras stuff like that let's just take it easy but this scooter is valued at like a hundred thousand dollars okay dang they have a bunch of cars bugattis you know what i think there's walking trails around here so we're gonna kind of look like a walker what the heck there's just a random hole right here if i gotta run out of here or pull in real quick we gotta remember there's a huge hole right there all right there's the moped sick there it is there it is oh there's somebody walking oh that's the lady oh that looks exactly like the lady i right, got my binoculars on yeah that's her she has like orangish reddish hair that's the moped yep so red seat it's like purplish i would call it yep there she goes oh she's starting it up oh that sounds awesome she's heading out i've done this before where people like run away and we eventually get them all right nice and easy hopefully she doesn't see my tow truck all right let's see where is she going all right she's going down a path hopefully she doesn't see our toe oh i just fell into the hole all right there she goes we're gonna let her get a little bit of lead we'll follow her see where she's going she's probably going into town i mean that thing I'm, it's like a mopedy thing so i don't think she'll oh she's going on the interstate holy cow oh gosh Speed limit on there's like 65, 70. I wonder how fast that thing is. I guess it's a hundred thousand dollars. We gotta hammer it down to okay. We're we're kind of catching her. It's not that fast, but we'll see what she's doing in town, and hopefully we can get her where she's off of it and then throw it on the trailer. Well, it looks like Susan was going to get some groceries, so this might actually turn out pretty good. Because usually, unless she's just running in there for like a gallon of milk or something. Grocery shopping takes a little bit. Who goes grocery shopping on a moped? You can't haul a bunch of stuff, so she might be in there for a short period of time. Let's just hang out here. See where she... Oh, yeah, she's walking in. Hey, she left her pink helmet on. All right, guys, here we go. Here is her chance. Let's go. Lights on, hazards on. And there's the moped. This should be pretty easy to load up. Not too bad at all, in my opinion. And thank goodness it's not too busy here. All right, fold it back. So pretty much, I'm sure she took the keys out of it, but we should still be able to get it out of park and start rolling it. It's super... Oh, this thing's pretty cool. Heck yeah, I could get my wife one of these. She would look good on here. Or maybe it would be for me. All right, push, push, push. Come on. It's not too heavy. There we go. It's on there. We just got to get a few straps down on it. Perfect. That looks good. And there we go. We're all loaded up. This is the right one. Check the fin. Oh, gosh. There she is. She's coming. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, late. Um, you, you didn't pay you for doing? your moped. Take that thing I'm, off. I'm repoing it. This is chow repo. No, you're not. Here's a ticket. Take that thing off. No, give it back, That's man. the best I can do, ma'am. You got to pay your loan. Give it back. Hey, stop. Here we go, guys. All right, Susan. Sorry about that, Susan. Pay your loan next time. All right, here we go. Now, the only thing I'm a little worried about is a repo shop's right here, so she might see where we're going. She just stole somebody's car. Okay, let's not go to the repo shop. If you guys saw when we pulled in, I noticed it too. Somebody was putting their groceries in, had their trunk open. She must have just, what do you, hijacked a car? What the heck? Oh, she's laying on the horn. That thing's pretty quick. Let's see if we can get up to speed here. All right, this moped, it doesn't seem that nice, but it's $100,000. We can't damage it, can't lose it. I strapped it down pretty good, but I, I don't want to get in like a race or anything and then have the moped go flying off. There we go, dude. She's driving. I'm going 75, 80, 85 mile an hour. She's still behind me. All right, she has her hazards on. That's at least polite to have your hazards on. All right, stay on the road. Stay on the road, Spencer. All right, see, all right, this is what we're gonna do. Slam on the brakes. Hopefully, I strapped it down hard enough. Slam on the brakes. Come on. There she goes. All right, let's see if we missed her. All right, real quick, she's pulling around. This is what we're gonna do. We got a truck. We can handle this. So let's go off roading for a bit here. And I don't know if she, I, oh, she's gonna damage whoever's car she just took. Oh, there she goes. She's staying on the road. Here she comes. Oh, don't hit each other. Oh, I just hit the car. Dang it. Susan, lady, I got to repo your, your, your Give me moped. Give back, man. Give me it back. No, dude, you're crazy. I mean, why do you, you still have your helmet this on? Thing. You better not got a scrap on that. It doesn't matter. Give it back, man. No, what you, are you doing? I, I'm repoing it. You got to pay your bills. How, how, did you lose your job or something? I'm sorry. I just, I'm the bank needs it back. I'm paying all the bills. You're wrong. Well, you are wrong. Well, there's you, nothing not paid for. I saw you take out from the mansion and stuff. I, there's some other repo stuff that you guys might be not paying on. What are you? All right, Susan. See, see, yeah, see you later, Susan. All right, we got a little bit of lead here. Let's try and escape her. All right, th I think we have a decent lead on her. We're going to try and uh, go off road here for a little bit. All right, now we're on the back road. Let's quickly fly in here, go through the gate, and then I think she was a little bit behind me. She had to turn around, and I kind of damaged the car. I don't know if I busted a wheel or popped a tire or something. All right, we need to get garage door openers because every time I have to jump out and open the gates, they do look cool, but it would be nice to have a button. There we go. We do have a button for those. Come on, get in here. We need to shut the gate, shut the door. There we go. Shut that. We'll have to shut this one too. And then, we're... oh, there she is. There she is. You guys see her. Oh, she's coming. She's coming. All 
All right, hide, 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 get down. I don't know if she knows that this is a repo shop. We recently built it. We don't really have our names on it. Oh, she made the turn. Oh no, she just flew by. Okay, nice. I thought she slowed down to make the turn, but we made it in here. Let's check out what this thing is. When she fired it up, it sounded really good. All right, let's fire it up. Heck yeah, dude. That sounds like a two stroke motorcycle. It sounds great though. Well, we better shut down. I'll keep it on here for now. I think we're going to take it in uh, to the bank here and they got to put it on auction, but this thing's worth like 110,000. Crazy. They must be really collector's items like legendary, but she drives it around quite a bit. So hope you guys enjoyed. Susan, sorry we had to repo it. It's just my job. Can't do anything about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will, I'll see you all in the next one. If you guys want to see more repo home videos, let me know by hitting the like button and tell me in the comments. So I'll see you guys later. Yee -yee.